Hello everybody, I am Scythe18, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. And last time on Fallout New Vegas... Well, uh, the, ex the episode accidentally got deleted. So, um, I'm just gonna have to give you a summary on that one. Uh, last time we walked up to Prim and uh, killed a couple powder gangers and heard about the sheriff, the, no, the deputy, sorry, not the sheriff, there is no sheriff in the town. The deputy has been captured by the powder gangers and we are currently in the Bison Hotel trying to free him. And on the episode before that we had that uh, nice little showdown. So yeah, let's just get back into it. It's been a, a few weeks since I played this. So yeah, I ended the last episode right there on the couch. I killed these people. Let's uh, grab that. Like I said, it's been a while since I played it. I'm gonna get some of the buttons wrong. I'm always gonna take those cases because they weigh nothing and you could eventually make bullets with them. It's only 556 ammo, but hey, it's still ammo. Of course, never turn down a free so Very easy the door. If you haven't seen lockpicking, all you have to do is just like lockpicking in Skyrim and other stuff. It's pretty simple. You just find the right spot and push. I usually collect cigarette cartons, because why not? And uh, doctor bags, we need those. First aid is empty. Toolbox just has a plunger. I'm good on that one for now. Thank you. Um, not there. Garbage can. All right. What kind of gun do I have? Oh, I think this is my 10 millimeter. I'm gonna keep this out for now. The desk has. Ooh, I need 357 ammo. Some cigarettes over there actually are worth one and weigh nothing. If I really wanted to just try to make money, I could take the stuff that's worth something and waste nothing. But I don't care. I'm gonna check the map. Cause like I said, it's been so long since I played. Alright, so he is supposed to be right over there. The other side of the Steve Bison Hotel, and that's Prim, the way outside. He's supposed to be right up there. Unless he's right in here, which I'm not seeing. Yeah, I can't, uh, I don't have repair high enough to fix the elevator, otherwise I'd be able to just go straight up. So let's find a ramp upstairs. Yeah, it occurs to me I forgot to do something. One second. There we go. Just forgot to set my timer. <laughs> I just put a quick stopwatch on and uh, hope I get around 20 minutes or so. Pack of cigarettes, yes. And, of course, I, I, I'm going to keep on doing that, I think, <laughs> just by accident. Uh, it's uh, Empty soda bottles. I don't think there's any use for empty soda bottles. There might be, but no, I think there is. Some more cigarettes. Some more guys are killed. A pack. Dang right. Pre-war money because it weighs nothing. I like that money doesn't actually weigh anything. Pre-war money and uh, bottle caps. Really cool that it doesn't weigh anything. I'm not gonna like go too heavily into searching everything, but yeah, I am gonna take all the stuff I. That is obvious, though. Is it? No, it's empty. And he might be, uh, I don't know, 
Yes, yeah, this is just where I left. One second, let me just hit that map and I'm gonna just go there. But how do I get there? By going through here, of course. Let's go through here. Anyone here? Yep. Ah, you bastard! A little bit, uh... Wild with the ammo, but I'm gonna take your money. Your ammo, your... No, I don't really want your dynamite. But it, wait, but it, it, it's worth money, so I'm gonna take it anyways. Varmint rifle, I could fix mine, possibly. I'm gonna leave that whetstone behind for now. Soda? Take. You like that? Oh shit! Get out of the uh, view of that guy. Let me uh, switch guns really quickly. Um, get over to this. Uh, you know, let me repair this varmint rifle really quickly. E. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to the good one. Bam! Oh, that had to suck. Shot him like right in the leg. You got some money and ammo. That's all mine. Bottle caps, case. I'll take that dynamite, I'll sell it later. Psycho, because it pays nothing. Environment rifle. I'll take your 9mm, all the ammo, the cat eye, the dynamite. You keep everything else. It's all good. Empty. That was easy. Come on. Crap! Crap! Need some health. I'm going to uh, drink a soda and stim pack up. Um, go all the way up, get that machete out, hack him up. There we go, bastard. Sometimes it's just easier to go in and hack them apart. What the? Oh. Ah! <laughs> I didn't even notice anyone chucked dynamite at me, man. Shows how much I pay attention, huh? I'll take that old cowboy hat. I might be able to fix my current hat with it. Garbage can. Pack. Oh, wait, I see you. I saw him, I saw him. Repair. E. If I actually improved my repair, I'd be able to repair these more effectively, but it's not improved. So, oh well. Grenade shot, I'm not gonna use a grenade shotgun on these guys. Alright, so that should be good. Oh, crap! <clears throat> no. That's what you get, you little bastard! Come on! Come on, you fuckers! Grab that 357, uh. Pop another, uh. Ah, I didn't mean to use my stealth boy. Damn it. I've got one! But now I am invisible.
Die, you bastard! I know you don't see me. I don't care. Stop it. Machete. I'm a ninja now, man. Screw you. Ha ha. Heck. Kinda wanna get a katana. Just <laughs> so I could sneak around like that. Oh hey, I gotta level up. Maybe that storm chaser how to be able to fix mine. Let's see, what do I get? I might want to get repair up just a little bit. Uh, my sneak is 25. Maybe good to improve that eventually. I don't have really any energy weapons. Except for that one laser gun, but I mean, really. Whatever. Repair would be good to uh, get up. At least a little bit. Because like I said, I mean right here it says... It allows you to create items and gun ammunition, so also repair any weapons and apparel. So I'm going to get up to, that up to 35, which means I could go and repair the uh, elevator, among many other things. And the rest, I'm going to just drop in a speech. I'm educated with every point, and um, with you get you gain two more skill points every time. Um, you can only put one in it, so it's best to take it early. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Science skill of 25 and lockpick of 75. Hmm. So that's what that does. Hmm. One second. A uh, bunch of pre-war books. Well, if I find somebody who collects those, I'll have to uh, come back here and get those. Bottle caps, bottle caps, bottle caps. Bottle caps is good. Pre-war money. That as well. Is good. Oh, that's how you crouch. <laughs> I keep forgetting stuff like that. I think it'd be important enough for me to remember. Nope. That's how you put it away. Like I said, it has been about a week or two since I've played. I'm gonna talk to this guy really quickly. I don't, I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. me. I'd, cross I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Beagle. Why, Why, yes, yes I, am. I am. It's, it's a, pleasure a pleasure to meet, to meet you. you. I'm, in, I'm a in a bit of a bit predicament of here. here. I'd be I'd most appreciative if you'd set, set me free. free. Uh, I had you end up being a hostage. I must, I must say, say it's, it's been, been the low, low point of my point career in law enforcement. Law enforcement. The powder the ganger stole, stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them. Taking, taking careful, careful notes, notes as I watched. watched. To my to dismay, my they found they me while I waited in the shadows, shadows and brought me here. Yeah, that sucks. I hear may have some uh, information on the cons that came here with the guy in the checkered suit. Indeed, Indeed I, do, I do, good sir. sir. And I would, I would be, thrilled be thrilled to share, to share that, that information, information with you as soon as, as, as I'm released, released from, from captivity. captivity. Then, uh, why don't I release him? Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Go for it. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms. See you outside. Oh yes, definitely. I already uh, pretty much killed everybody else. I am going to raid this guy's body. Oh no, I raided his body already. It's this guy's body I need to raid. That flamer fuel, that's mine. That leather armor, that's mine. That bobby pin is mine, and this may no just underweight. All right, you yeah, I got your stuff already. I'm gonna just leave as well because I already killed pretty much everything, and like I said, I'm not gonna really spend a whole lot of time looting stuff because that's all it is at this point. Just going through everything and. Picking out any th everything that's even slightly worth something, carting it over to a place and selling it. 
And I'm not going to do that, okay? I'm not going to do that on camera, hey off there. camera, whatever. I don't care. Hey, what's well, up? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Yes, Breaking I did. yourself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. That's really right. Mm -hmm. Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Hmm. You're the sheriff now, aren't you? Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Um, what are the qualifications? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who will settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. From what I remember, they said they were stretched thin. Maybe I can talk him into it. Um, NCR, correctional facility guy, I'm not going to be able to get him in here. I'll help bring the law back. You will? That's, That's just marvelous. marvelous. I'll start, I'll start thinking, thinking of questions, questions for the interview. The sheriff, the sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. It never does, does it? Hey, hey, hey. Luck finding a suitable... You're supposed to tell me about that ah, guy. Yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. Naturally. I was uh, performing recon, <laughs> gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some yeah. great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? Yep. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay. Through Nipton to Novak. And, uh... Off over uh, here, I believe. Not over there. That's the roller coaster. Actually, there are a bunch of people hiding on the roller coaster, and I killed them. Um, through here, around to the bridge, basically, and then I'll go talk to the NCR. Seeing as how I uh, already took out the mines. Then I'll try to find a shop, sell some stuff, repair some stuff, since my repairing is better now. I like how they actually reward you for wearing hats in this game. You. I'm not sure you should be here. I'm not sure you should be here. Mm-hmm. Let me uh, see if I can... Quests, my kind of town, um, that's it, my kind of town. Was it over here? It might have been up there, but I'm pretty sure it was this guy over here he wants me to talk to. When you walk, first approach town, this, there's a guy over here who pretty much says, Hey, you shouldn't go into town, there's a bunch of powder gangers up in here. And, uh, they're looking to kill people. And steal stuff. Your people. You have stuff. They're probably gonna kill you. Although, come to think of it, that... I'm pretty sure is actually back to the, uh... Thing. The thing, you know, the place. The prison. I tried this before, you can't get over this. I just gotta go around. Oh well. I'm gonna get up there. I'm gonna talk to this dude. I probably shouldn't have jumped down in the first place, but whatever, I did. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? <sighs> I know there's a separate option of, uh, there's a robot in there called Prim Slim or some crap like that. You could talk to him and uh, reprogram him to be the sheriff, but that's kind of not really that great of an option. It puts Beagle out of work because, well, yeah, Beagle's not exactly the most honest dude in town, apparently. <laughs> Whatever, right? I don't know. No, it's not that. Uh, I was about to fall for the same crap.
Poznaję. A was. Alright, he should be over here by the camp. Yeah, he's probably riding here. Lieutenant Hayes. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count you. I'm Lieutenant, I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. Company. What's your What's business? Prim needs some law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What do you need to take over the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Mojave. We were so what are you doing here? We were to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. Go take it out. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. I'd imagine. I pretty much got the idea. I have some free time. Ask away. That's it. Sir, sir. Hey, hey. Alright, I'm gonna go out here and. Yeah. That's about it, right there. Alright, well, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this episode won't get deleted. Alright, later.